the video manual for the Canon FTQL. QL, QL stands for quick loading. Camera was released in 1966. It uses 625 battery, 1.3 volts, which is kind of weird, and it's uncoupled, so you don't really need a battery to shoot with it. And that's what I really like with all these um, older SLRs. I got it at an antique store for about $20. It's a black version, so it's kind of rare. I don't see too many of these. Um, but really well built, really like it, kind of simple, a great starter SLR. Um, to put the lens on, you're first of all going to line up the red dots and then twist to the right to lock it in. When you're done shooting, you're just going to twist that to the left to take it off. Top right side of the camera, you're going to notice um, a dial and your shutter advance. So A is on, uh, for meter is on, L is to lock it so the meter isn't on. And I'm advancing the shutter right here. You can see the foam counter above the shutter advance. To change your ISO, you're going to pull up on the dial and twist it left or right. This one's kind of sticky, but um, it should work on most cameras. To change the shutter speed, just going to turn the dial. On the other top side of the camera, that's the battery check. Simply pull down. To meter, you're going to pull this lever to uh, towards the lens. To continuously meter, you're going to hit turn, push that dial to L. So to, how do you change film? On the bottom, there is a film um, release or back release. Simply turn it and the back will open. Film is actually really easy to put in because it's a quick loading. You're going to pull up on the film rewind crank, place the film in upside down, and then you just kind of have to get the film um, over into that slot and then simply close the back and then you're ready to go. So um, didn't notice how fast it is to do it, but really fast. And you notice that it opens up on me right here because um, you need to go on the bottom and close that seal, close that lock. When you're done shooting, you hit the film rewind release right there on the bottom of the camera. And you're going to simply turn counterclockwise and then just remove your film when you're done. Battery compartment is on the top um, left of the camera. On the front of the camera is the mirror lockup. Also the flash sync, which is one over 60. And then I'm gonna end with the self timer. So simply pull down and then advance your shutter and it should go. So I really like this camera, really well built. Um, kind of underrated, I haven't seen too many people buy or talk about it, but a great little camera, a great little Canon SLR. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks.